Hi, well here we are in the Micro Foundry workshop and uh, we're just showing how to use the melting furnace which is one of the two furnaces in the Micro Foundry system. This is the melting furnace, this is the A50 crucible that we do the, uh, the, the melting in and what we're going to do is, is a demonstration of the safe use in the use of the uh, use of this uh, furnace as though it were your, your first melt we're going to use copper and you'll recognize the 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 coppers that's as copper as it comes they're old pennies which you can sort out with a fridge magnet if they're not magnetic they're copper and we're going to make up a 26 gram load seven one penny pieces and one and a half grams of lead free solder which is the, the cheapest type sold for now for, for plumbing it's 99% tin 1% copper so we just take that as tin and this will give us a 95% copper alloy of bronze or alloy of copper which we call bronze it comes out to be a very nice rose bronze, the uh, my favourite casting casting metal, much more durable than gold, equally attractive, and casts nicely. So we're going to put in the tin, the copper, and just before we put the the crucible into the furnace, we'll add just a pinch. About half a level teaspoonful of granulated carbon and that stops the sticking which is a tendency without um, putting the, the carbon in a tendency of the crucible to stick to the to the furnace the top goes on to the crucible and then a ceramic fiber super wool blanket little gasket there which keeps it pretty well airtight and reduces further the the chance of oxidation and there we have the furnace ready to go into the microwave the microwave is just a, a box standard low-end domestic microwave rated a thousand watts and we stand the furnace on another super, super wall blanket on the rotating plate we heat at full power we, we're, we're looking for a, a shorter melt time not only for convenience but uh, the shorter the time the less uh, time the material spends oxidizing so we're on full power and we're going to dial in eight minutes which I know from experience will be a give us a good more than molten it will be a very fluid melt and um, we've got a little receiver here a little ingot mold which is another crucible which will receive the ingot when it's been melted in the in the furnace right well here we are the uh, melt has been going on now for almost the eight minutes and we've put up the, the splash board we've got our ingot mould ready tongs non-contacting thermometer which we're going to use just to make sure that the, the furnace is safe to indicates 109 degrees got the hot gloves on and we'll just lift out the furnace over the sand bed Remove the tray. You can see it's nicely molten. And more than that, nicely fluid. I'm going to lift the hot crucible out.
pour it into the to the mould, put the hot crucible down on the sand and we'll leave that for a moment. You can see there's still plenty of uh, heat in the furnace. So I'll pop the lid back on there. And after quite, quite a short time the metal will solidify And there's our little ingot, mini ingot, of whoops, of bronze. That's now refined metal as far as we're concerned. We've put some uh, flux in there when we melt it down to make into a ring or whatever. And that is the little ingot that will go to make typically a ring.